So I waited 25 years to get my feet on the ground with the Starship Troopers game that gave me the feeling of the battles in Starship Troopers. The original Starship Troopers movie blew my mind back in the 90s. All Verhoeven movies were some of my favorites at the time and still are to this day. Starship Troopers has really stuck in my mind and those battles especially has really stayed with me. And games have come and passed, but they've never really nailed that feeling of Starship Troopers until today. Starship Troopers Extermination has launched on Steam Early Access and I've got to say, it really gives that feeling of the movies, those battles on Klendathu that we all wanted to experience. And I'm just going to say it straight off the bat, I highly recommend Starship Troopers Extermination. There's one map on the game at the moment, but it does have a varied amount of missions that you can play on this single map. It's quite large and we had a good 6 to 12 matches and not a single match had the same mission layout as the last so I think they've got a good variety of missions on the go with this single map at the moment we also had nighttime as well as daytime and the nighttime we turned on our flashlights and it really felt like that opening scene with the news reporter from the movie And you just can't help but say the lines from the movies as you're playing. You apes want to live forever! At least on the US servers, it was just non-stop. Europe was a bit quieter when we switched the region, but US was non-stop movie references and lines from the movie. It was pretty... helped with immersion, though some people went a bit too far. Right Holy shit, somebody else is talking? Any supports you can carry too, so make sure to grab them. Uh, I am in indeed a support, but I am also retarded. Welcome to the infantry. <laughs> Welcome to the mobile infantry. Please, I'm doing my part. You're the perfect soldier. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing her with my part. But regardless of that, it was an extremely fun time and I actually enjoyed it more the more I played it as I learned because it does have a kind of basic building mechanic as a part of the game. So you've got to kind of build walls once you get to a certain section of the mission, which is generally the end part of your mission set that you're laid out with. So you first have to capture the landing zone and defend it against the arachnid threat and then you get pushed on and you have to, say, power some generators. And then once those generators are powered, it pushes you forward onto a payload that you've got to defend and a main like kind of base, which is your spawn point, which it does do throughout each of these stages. It gives you a spawn point and some ammo to resupply. And then towards the end where you get the payload or the area of the uh, like main base kind of thing, it drops down like a bunker. You've got to build in this restricted area. You can put walls up, watchtowers, turrets, uh, electrified fences and ramps and, and a couple of different things. There's not too many, probably about 10, I'd say, ish. And it does take a little bit of getting used to switching to your building tool and then switching to build and repair. But once you do get used to the building mechanic, you're pretty set. It's, you can build your base together with the 16 other players that you play with cooperatively, which I think is the only way you can actually play the game. I don't think there's a private server. You have to play with random 16 players, or if you've got 16 friends, you can load up and I'd probably find a server for you. But it's a, it's a fun time either way with randoms. Everybody seems to work together at the moment. That might change down the line, though, if people start to just not play the game anymore. And hopefully, Offworld actually keep pumping out the content. Mentioning Offworld Industries, those are the developers of Starship Troopers Extinction. And I believe Troopers was a very popular mod for Squad, as well as what I covered for Harsh Doorstep. They kind of ported the mod over into that game as well. And this is, I kind of think, like another DayZ story. The mod was super popular, so the developers grabbed that IP for Starship Troopers and the idea for what the mod was and kind of made their own with an official Starship Troopers game in the same vein as the mod. And they have done an extremely good job. It's very faithful and a fan of the movie's wet dream. There's several types of arachnid in the game, including the ones that we most commonly know from the first movie. Hopefully we get other missions in the future, like going into the cave systems and taking out the brain bug, just like the ending of the movie. I think that'd be a cool ending to a mission. Oh, I almost forgot there are three classes of character to choose from with basic progression system. It says coming soon on quite a few of the items, like guns and things to unlock, but there's perks, there's tools, and there are different guns. 
and the three different characters you have is the light infantry that starts with a jetpack a heavy character with a heavier gun and a kind of shield that you can drop down and a support class with medic supplies and i think a quick revive bot of some kind so you can all kind of do your part to help out performance was pretty good it ran fairly well for me on maximum settings at 1440p i had one tiny little frame drop uh, when the game was at its busiest with the most amount of arachnids on screen and everybody shooting and all the particle effects uh, other than that though it seemed to run extremely smooth for me so i shouldn't think most people will have an issue depending on the settings that you have i probably have just one criticism and that is the gore you know that the human gore was as much as the arachnid gore now the arachnids there are blood and parts of arachnids and corpses laying everywhere but for humans there's no human corpses no body parts nobody gets torn apart and flung across the landscape so i'm not sure if that's just off world wanting to keep the rating down equals more sales or something like that or it's just not implemented yet but i think i would like as well as many other people to see more human gore body parts maybe corpses laid about with the arachnid corpses just to make it a little bit more immersive like something went down there like just like in the movie where they go to those compounds and they uh, see all the corpses about and they knew something went down also maybe some corpses of like commanders that have had a brain bug suck out their brain things like that with holes in their head little references that people would get that know the law that'd be pretty cool damn it see they get in your mind look they did it to farley they got in his mind they make you do things no, you want some of that? But with all that said, I thought I'd get a quick little review out for Starship Troopers Extermination. I highly recommend it. I think it's really good, especially if you can get some friends. Even if not, the random player interactions and communications is pretty hilarious anyway. And a fun time to be had for all. Keeping in mind it is early access. More content will be pumped out down the line, depending on popularity of the game. So hopefully this game can be populated and we get a load of content for our Starship Troopers fans. And just keep having a lot of fun squashing those bugs. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see the content I create. But most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time. Oh my god, now when Elise turned up, oh shit! I'm out of here! I've got three bullets, I need to save one for myself. Oh, oh god! I'm loving the game so far. It's just like the battles in the movie. No, oh, you want some of this? You want some of this? Ah! Everyone's doing their part, are you?